most scenic places to visit in China is Yangshuo, a town in the autonomous region of Guangxi, famous for its karst mountain peaks and the Li River. Despite its popularity, it's easy to escape the crowds on two wheels. Stop to smell the flowers and go down by the river where you just might see a fisherman chasing a duck or even a water buffalo. It's a great morning exploring the town's surroundings. For lunch, you've got to try the local specialty of beer fish. Head into a restaurant, choose your own fish from the tank, and have it cooked up for you in chilies and beer. For sides, try some spicy green beans and shredded potatoes. To do some further exploring, you might want a motorbike. In just a few minutes, you'll be far away from the flag-following, selfie-snapping, packaged Chinese tourists and out in the stunning countryside. Spend the afternoon cruising around, stopping at various viewpoints to admire the scenery. In the evening, make sure you catch the Impression Liu Sanjia performance in high season, the show goes on twice a night, and every seat is full. Taking place in the world's largest natural theater, this incredible show features hundreds of local Zhuang people. Set on the river, with the mountains as the backdrop, the show highlights the minority group's unique culture. It's quite the spectacle. Just see for yourself. At night, the town's west street really comes to life, illuminated in a sea of lasers. On any given night, you're sure to see plenty of quirky things. People dressed up as soldiers, a 5D movie theater, dancing fruit characters, and even some cool remote control UFOs. If you're looking to do some shopping, you need look no further. Here, you can pick up colorful dresses, silver, a variety of handicrafts, instruments, paintings, and more. Along the street, you can also see plenty of things being made, like whatever the hell these guys are doing, or this strange gold goo. There are plenty of cool shops where you can pick up traditional Chinese scrolls, funny t-shirts, or a new hat. This one's pretty sweet. It wouldn't be a walking street in China without tons of food. Grab a fresh fruit juice, some local snacks, a bowl of the famous rice noodles, and of course, plenty of delicious barbecue. Take a seat and you may even be serenaded by a local guitarist. After dinner, it's time to party. The West Street is full of tacky, noisy, and overpriced bars and KTV joints that are full of sloppy, drunk Chinese tourists, so you'll probably want to skip out on these. Instead, get off the street and head to higher ground at the Mojo Rooftop Bar. Enjoy the views of the town, get some cheap drinks, and get ready for a good old-fashioned game of beer pong. Or foosball. You might even catch some fireworks. We love hanging out down seedy alleys, and so should you. Head to the Bad Panda Bar to wind down your night. This small dive is a great place to get wild at theme parties. Like this beach bash. Yangshuo may be touristy, but it's still an awesome place to visit. <laughs>